Hey guys! So it's been a while since I've done a journal with me video, so I figured I'd finally do another one. And I picked this organic, kind of coral reef underwater styled page. I've done a variation of this before, so I figured I'd film it. And what I do normally is whenever I have a project and I have a bunch of spare like leftover paint, I will just put the rest of that paint onto scrap pieces of paper and then file them away. And once I have enough of a certain color scheme, I'll cut them out into just like any organic shape that I want, usually these sort of like circular-ish blobs. And I also do like actual circles because I've got like the, the craft punches that I use to make the actual circles, but you can try like just flipping a cup over and tracing and cutting that out or using a compass or whatever you want. Um, you can also try these with like magazine cutouts with like, you know, interesting colors or patterns. Even like text would look really cool. And you just want to make sure that it works really well with whatever the background is of the actual journal page. In this case, I'm using gray because it's nice and neutral and colors like seem to pop from, from that particular color. But you can also do like black would work really well or a contrasting color to whatever the shapes, um, colors that you have. So once I have enough of these uh, in a variety of different colors and shapes and sizes, um, I put them off to the side, usually paint my page, but in this case I already prepped it. And as you can see, my page is going to be the gray, which I used an acrylic ink for. And then I sort of arrange the shapes into whatever I kind of want them to look like. And I've done this where I've had them all kind of in the corner and then having the white lines drift off across the page. In this case, I wanted something that was kind of like an interlocking kind of, I just wanted it to look kind of like two organisms that were sort of connected or attached to one another. And this part can actually be pretty tricky because if you overlap the, the different shapes, it can be kind of hard to tell like the order in which to glue them down on so it's always a really like stressful part of this page because I've got like four of them kind of half glued down which is why I use a glue stick instead of white glue for this part and I do the smaller um, sizes in the in kind of in the middle because I, I like the way it kind of looks like that <laughs> and from there on out you just kind of have to decide if you want your white lines to overlap to not overlap um, you can always add these bits in later if you do want them to kind of stand out on top because that can be a lot easier to do than having to make your white lines go under them each time. And for the white lines, I'm using Winsor & Newton white ink and my thinnest paintbrush. Um, I like this, this ink because it's nice and opaque and it's also um, very like thick so you don't have to constantly stir or shake it. Uh, like every five seconds or else the pigments will kind of drift down to the bottom. This one's actually nice and like really, really good. It's probably one of my favorite white inks that I've ever used. And if you don't have the white ink or, or paintbrush that you would prefer to use for this sort of thing, um, you can try like gel pen or uh, you can also try like acrylic ink, just watered down quite a bit, would work really well for this part as well. You just want something very opaque. Um, I prefer the paintbrush because it gives me a really good variation on like the thick and thin part of the line. And I just like the way it looks, but it really is a personal preference, so you can do your thing. And for this step, I wanted it to kind of look like like I don't know like river rivers kind of where they connect and reconnect and kind of are attached but not quite and all that kind of stuff and yeah so you know let's we've already sped this up by quite a bit but basically this part is takes kind of the longest and from there on out all I do is I splatter the page with a bit of the leftover ink with my paintbrush and sometimes I use this sort of technique as part of like a larger page where I'll have it just kind of kind of off in the corner um, sometimes I'll have this as um, like you know with text on top of it or whatever you can really incorporate it into a lot of different styles so it's really fun it always reminds me of sort of an underwater like coral reef like weird like jellyfish type thing and I've done the jellyfish thing for a different page before so it's really fun it's a really good way to use up your old scrap papers it's really relaxing you don't really have to think too much about it you just kind of make the squiggly lines until it looks like something cool <laughs> so um, so yeah it's really really uh, easy to do uh, really simple and it always turns out really well so uh, let's take a quick look at some close-ups of this page so 
yeah you can tell I've done this page a couple times now it's always turned out really well so yeah if you guys are thinking of doing a page like this or if you really like this technique let me know in the comments below what color scheme you would use and subscribe if you do want to see more art videos